my month general reading. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, so, Leos, how have you guys been doing, actually? I am a Leo myself. And I'm looking at the uh, current planets today as I'm recording your reading. We have the Sun is in Virgo. The Moon is in Aries. Mercury is in Leo. Venus is in Leo. The True Note is in Leo. So, <clears throat> Mars is in Virgo. Jupiter is in Libra. Saturn is in Sagittarius. So, a lot of planets are still in Leo. This is very favorable for us Leos that may be watching. Leo, you are a fixed fire sign ruled by the sun. So, um, I see a lot of good things. Uh, I feel that there are going to be a lot of good things happening for us this month. Um, your, uh, the sun being in Virgo, of course, we are passing the baton to the Virgos this month. But um, some of you may still have uh, Virgo in your chart. So if you do, being so close, to, you know, Leo's sometimes having birthdays so close to Virgo, some of you could be on the cusp as well. But I am reading for all Leo suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp coming out of the eclipse season. Um, the next day we moved into Virgo, so very powerful energies. Uh, we are going to be feeling the effects of the eclipse for over the next year. So it ain't over till it's over, and uh, I think I'm pretty much just going to jump into your reading here. I uh, wanted to mention I'm using three decks. The primary tarot deck I'm using is the Anake Tarot. If you're interested, uh, I could list the link below in the description for that. And I'll also be pulling oracle messages from the Romance Angels and the Psychic Tarot for the heart at the end of your reading. So, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and sort of shuffled. Uh, I will continue shuffling on camera. And just a reminder, this reading covers the energies of the past, present, and future. The present being the moment that you view this reading. For all my Leo suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp that may be watching. Spirit, what does Leo need to know? Regarding their mid-month general reading, what are the messages and energies that you have for the sign of Leo? Leo suns, Leo moons, Leo risings, and those on the cusp. Popping out, nothing jumping out. Keeping quiet, are we, Leo? Yes, very quiet. And let's do a couple more shuffles here. For my Leos out there. <clears throat> Leo Suns, Leo Moons, Leo Rising is covering the energies of the past, present, and future for all my Leos that may be watching. Starting with your recent past, we have the Six of Swords. Familiar card. I mean, I've been getting that card a lot myself. Strength in reverse, there is your card, Leo. Knight of Cups in reverse, maybe a water sign, with the Ace of Rods in reverse, and Death. Alright. I'm not surprised by any of these cards. We'll talk about them. Going into your present situation, we have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Not surprised by that either. The High Priest reverse. The Nine of Cups. The Knight of Swords. Clarified with the Judgment card. Going into the future, you have the Devil, the Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Cups in reverse. Your outcome for the month of, oh, I almost wanted to say August. Nope, we're in September. Your outcome for September is... The Queen of Cups, clarified with the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, we have the Sun. Gorgeous. This is your card, Leo, and it talks about happiness, clarity, success, the ego, the inner child. I'm seeing 
all the stormy clouds clearing and underneath we have your sun, your guiding light, your ruling planet. Let's see what's underneath that. There we have you, the Queen of Rods. That's that Leo energy. So, haven't been feeling yourself lately, have you? Well, I have news. That's about to change because the sun being your ruling planet and this being the underlying theme or energy of your reading, I very much feel like um, in time, with work, with progress, you are going to see the light, Leo. It will be shining on you and it is shining on you. You are my shining star. That's the sign that I'm getting right now in my head. So let's talk about your cards. Okay. So in the recent past, you have the Six of Swords, Strength in Reverse, the Nine of Cups in Reverse with the Ace of Rods in Reverse and Death. So actually, two major arcana in your past. Um, the Death card has been coming up. It came up for Virgo, except it was Reverse. Here, you have it upright. Excuse me, which is very impressive, and, and I think this is good. Um, there's something final here that you're walking away from. There's something ending for you that ended for you in the past, and it was like a clear break. All right, you're ready for these changes. You, um, you know, you were ready to let go of some things. You're ready to end some things. Um, you know, death is very transformative energy. It rules Scorpio. And um, whether there was something that was taking your confidence away, making you feel um, not as strong. You know, strength in reverse is tricky. How you interpret it can be tricky. Um, because it is a very powerful energy. And when it's reversed, I'm seeing power struggles, I'm seeing ugly, uh, ugliness, I'm seeing um, abuse, I'm seeing um, weakness, and really you Leos um, out there that are watching may not like to hear this, but with strength in reverse I just don't feel like that's really the best side of you, alright, whether it was not feeling um, good in your skin. It can talk about um, illness, uh, lack of or low self-esteem. It can talk about um, fierce hatred, um, ugliness, uh, abuse, power struggles, all of these things. And it's kind of where you are heading. You know, you kind of, um, you know, maybe dealing with an air sign energy as well. I mean, they may have found themselves uh, coming to you and finding that uh, you were not receptive to them. But... Um, it does feel like, um, you know, in your past, uh, I see psychological healing, I see moving from stormy waters to smoother waters, but I also feel like you probably were struggling with, um, taming your inner demons, taming the beast, um, maybe not the gentlest hand, uh, I think mentally, you were there, uh, you were trying to get there, but I think that physically I'm seeing um, that you were about to bite someone's head off along the way. Um, I also see someone here, I don't feel this is your energy, we have the Knight of Cups in reverse, and it could be a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and of course they are facing you, Leo, but I feel like this person... Um, emotionally unavailable, possibly a bit of a player, um, could also represent someone that is an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, and with the Ace of Rods in reverse, this is more of like a libido thing, um, now this could also represent your current, could have represented your current lover, your current passion, passions, you know, being clarified with the Ace of Rods in reverse, I feel like something is ending here, and um, I think you're trying to heal, I think you're trying to come to terms with things, and you kind of find yourself in an ugly situation, and 
Um, I feel like whoever this water sign energy is or whoever this person is, this Knight of Cups in reverse, um, they, uh, they're very superficial and their feelings are either not flowing through them properly, they may be um, bottling up a lot of pain, they may be bottling up a lot of their emotions. This could be someone who, um, you know, doesn't develop their emotions or their feelings uh, to a greater extent. Um, with the Ace of Rods reverse, it says that there's a loss of libido here, there's a loss of passion. There could be um, uh, the spark going out of a relationship. Um, it doesn't say much. It says that they don't feel much or they don't feel, um, they're not feeling themselves. I really don't think both of you are feeling yourselves. Um, it seems to be a lack of passion here, a lack of, um, control. Something feels out of control here. Um, and death comes in to say, you know, this situation is over. This is done. The damages have been done. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I feel like you also, Leo, wanting to move away from things that just have not been helpful, things that do not make you happy anymore. Um, and uh, just trying to break free from these chains, you know, really trying to break free from the chains here that have shackled you. I mean, I do feel like someone is trying to um, control you or trying to, to tame you, but I don't think you're having it. And I think that the, there is someone hurt here. I think there's someone that uh, doesn't understand their own unpleasant feelings and also is suffering from a lack of sex drive or a lack of passion. And I don't think they feel much for you. Um, but this is all changing. This is all ending, you know, now, I do think you would like to walk away. I think you would like to move away, but you have the Eight of Cups in reverse and the High Priest reverse, which is which is telling me a lot, actually. Um, you know, it's telling me a couple things. One, I feel like, yes, you are enjoying your life. You're having a grand old time. You're, you're having fun. You are celebrating. You're getting crazy. Um, You've got food, wine, and friends here, but I do feel like there could be a significant relationship here where um, you aren't uh, committed anymore, or you aren't committing yourself, you are um, rebelling against a lot of things right now. You're rebelling against, you know, what society tells you to do, um, you know, this is a very I'm seeing a very liberal energy here, and for those of you who are conservatives, you know, obviously conservatives don't like liberals, and liberals don't like conservatives. Well, I'm seeing a very liberal energy here. Liberal with their affairs, liberal with their feelings, and um, wanting to walk away from something or someone that has been giving them bad advice. Could be a Taurus, could be any other sign. Um, you are just not having it and you do want to leave the situation behind. But the problem is, is that with the Eight of Cups reverse, it tells me you keep coming back to it. Um, you come back and have a good time, but I don't feel like this is a commitment that you take very seriously. And if you did take vows, um, or if you did, um, at one point, uh, find yourself in a very traditional relationship, um, you are now you know, wanting not to do that. Um, because this can sometimes indicate divorce, breakups, uh, leaving the church, leaving uh, an organization, leaving a job, leaving a relationship. Um, it could also say that someone, like I said, is giving you bad advice or is doesn't have your back here, isn't a good friend. I really feel like you're trying to leave um, something behind that just hasn't been healthy for you. I see fierce power struggles, I see ugliness, I see abuse, I see, um, you know, you trying to heal, just as soon as you heal from something, you come back to the same place you're at. And, you know, death is up right here um, to say that um, this is this is going to change, you know. 
um, something is changing uh, for good and um, I think that you're going to continue to enjoy the pleasures of life and you are kind of feeling very hedonistic this week and um, you just want to have a good time. I don't think you want anything serious, Leo. Um, I'm seeing an air sign coming up here, the Knight of Swords. And uh, this could be a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. You know, I have air sign energy here. I have water sign. I've got Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Scorpio again, and uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, no earth sign coming up here, even though the moon is a, the moon was in, or the sun is in Virgo. I don't see a lot of earth energy for you. But, um, the air sign energy, you know, the Knight of Swords is, is very dispassionate and he's moving away from the situation. Um, this is someone who's, who's, uh, making a final decision, ready to, to come out into the light. Um, a final judgment. You know, they're being judgmental. They are, are being decisive. They know what they want. They're going to go after it. I'm seeing this more towards the end of the week. Um, and, uh, I mean, in the next card I have is the devil here, uh, and the six of pentacles. So this could be, um, a situation where you find yourself in some kind of carnal pleasure. This could be some uh, relationship that uh, is toxic, uh, but also fun and wild and passionate. Um, I'm seeing a lot of like, um, you know, sexual passion. This can also indicate enjoying um, like the pleasures of life with the Nine of Cups and the Devil here. Um, some of you are going to a party and meeting an air sign and you decide that you want to actually end up hooking up with this person or you decide that you are very attracted to them and you don't know why. I'm seeing that more happening in the future but um, you have the Six of Pentacles which is very good. This is giving and receiving. Um, I'm seeing this as uh, situation where um, someone needs something and the other person is willing to give it to them because they have the resources and um, whether this is you or the other person or whatever I do feel like it's going to be fair it's going to be reciprocated this passion and this this feeling is going to be reciprocated now this can also say that you are in a toxic relationship or in a toxic environment whereby um, you find yourself to be very needy or you find the other person, um, it's, it's like a codependent type of relationship um, situation. But there is something going on with this air sign here. Like, I feel like they are just ready to speak their truth. I feel like they're ready to make some final decisions. Um, you know, judgment is all about like judgment day. It's about like coming out with the truth. It's about speaking your truth. And um, while I do feel like in your future, you know, like I said, I, I feel like there's going to be some temptations. There could be some toxic energy around you. We have the sign of Capricorn. It could be Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Um, we also have the Knight of Pentacles here. In the Ten of Cups in reverse. In that order. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Cups in reverse. So, um, someone here feels, I'm getting, like, someone feels needy or financially dependent. Um, they could also be feeling lonely. Like, they have, um, they are being taken care of, but at the same time, they are lonely and dependent financially, um, which prevents them from leaving a situation. It's like as soon as they, it's like they're, it's like Leo, like either you are meeting all of your needs in, in different ways, but it's very, un, it's a very non-traditional way that you're doing it. 
Um, and it could be leaving you feeling emotionally drained. Ten of Cups in reverse. Someone here is very unhappy. Someone here feels like... Um, someone here feels left out in the cold. That's the feeling I'm getting. Um, like they, they can't have what you have or they are feeling um, needy and emotionally empty despite efforts to try and to be happy. I feel like you are happy, Leo. I feel like you are, um, you know, able to, to give from your heart. Um, this could be with a, a water sign or with an earth sign or both. Uh, the, the earth sign feeling more, um, yeah, this can bring up financial concerns as well. It could be that you have to pay out something here at the end of the month um, or you're entering into some kind of um, loan slash credit situation and you're kind of finding out that you aren't uh, as financially independent as you thought. Um, and this is making you very unhappy. This is, you feel drained emotionally. You feel... Um, miserable about something and you know the ten of cups in reverse it's like it, it's it can't get any worse than this emotionally um the emotional security that you once had um is being taken away but you know it here we have water sign energy again queen of cups with the five of pentacles in your outcome position um <clears throat> Either you are dealing with a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, female energy. I'm getting a very feminine energy. And this person feels very out in the cold. They feel very alienated. Um, or perhaps I'm picking up on you, Leo, um, feeling very emotional at the end of the month. Um, you know, very focused on... You know, the Queen of Cups is someone who is a mother, she's psychic, she's very caring, she cares about everyone, she cares about animals, and yeah, I've kind of like, I just get that, it's like something is missing, this is what I'm, this is what I'm feeling, it's like, you feel like no one understands you, and, um, there is help available. But um, there is a feeling of, of being out in the cold and being misunderstood um, emotionally, but I feel like emotionally you're quite grounded, but I think financially you're doing, you're, there's some stuff going on for you at the end of the month. Um, or like I said, you could be dealing with a water sign that feels alienated from you. It feels um, lost and lonely without you. And they they feel, um, you know, that uh, you could, you're in a position to be able to give to them, but maybe you aren't. Maybe you aren't. I mean, I'm just looking at this interaction here. Um, this is a charitable influence and this person or this energy feels very separate from that. So um, just make sure that you aren't uh, ignoring any water signs in your life. I do feel like there's someone out there who's thinking about you but feels a bit pushed to the side or feels a bit out in the cold. Um, and sees that you are, you know, maybe enjoying life and having fun and all that but um, maybe they want a piece, <laughs> they want a piece of it too, so, but I do feel like you're going to find your happiness, Leo, you know, there's some really big changes happening for you this month, and yeah, you're doing things a little bit differently than other people, um, that's just because you have a special recipe, you know, you're not like everyone. Um, you really want to enjoy life, and I think you're going to find that um, there may be some temptations, there may be some toxic energy towards the end of the month, and you may find yourself in a situation um, 
there could be an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend who is kind of on the outside looking in on your life and they feel that you are a very giving person and maybe they feel like um, you know they could have had some of that too they could have been part of that so Leo uh, yeah watch your back yeah I was saying you feel bound to this person you feel strong next to this person um, there is reciprocity here. This person is very giving. There's magic. I feel there's like someone who has like, um, when you're together you create magic between you. A strong chemical attraction. And this person may or may not be directly involved in your current relationship. This could be someone that you are seeing or someone that you are going to be seeing this month. Interesting, Leo has a very um, sensual month ahead. That's what I'm seeing. And from one bad situation into something really good and then back into something that, you know, could potentially be um, someone feels out in the cold here is what I'm seeing it could be a water sign okay so just watch out for that what does Leo need to know spirit this has been a very interesting reading oh boy a bunch of cards move Spread your wings. Okay. So we've got chemistry, move, and spread your wings. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this uh, resonates with the chariot in the major arcana. And uh, this resonates with the Two of Wands, but I'm going to read a little bit about this one. Move. Keywords are act, direct, master, discipline, focus, effort. Now is the time, Leo, to be proactive regarding matters of the heart. If you're looking for a relationship, take the initiative to find one. Take advantage of the many ways to meet your soulmate. This card is about action, action, action. If your current relationship is not moving in the direction you wish, do whatever is required to shift the direction. You are the master of your own destiny. And that includes your relationships. Don't wait for others to make the first move or set the tone of the relationship. Take charge. Creating and sustaining a good relationship requires discipline. It's not enough to just be in a relationship. You must invest in it as well. Therefore, if you are just in a relationship and not investing in it, the, the same goes for that in terms of, you know, being disciplined or not being disciplined. You have to be present and focus on the relationship. Give every relationship the opportunity and time that it needs and deserves to flourish and grow. Now is the time to focus on your needs and the needs of your partner. Make the effort and uh, maintain healthy boundaries for yourself and to respect the boundaries of others. While rewarding relationships require effort, there must be a balanced effort from both partners. Perhaps it's time to examine your relationships. Are both partners putting forth equal effort to make the relationship work? Are you comfortable with the amount of effort your relationships require of you? If any relationship feels draining or it's not worth the effort, then perhaps it's time to move on. Well, it is suggesting that you do move on. In fact, it says spread your wings. Affirmation, I take charge of my relationships and this does um, 
talking about the chariot energy, which resonates with the sign of Cancer. So remember, these are guidance messages. They, the spirit's saying this is what is for your highest good, Leo. And um, the next one we have here resonates with spirit energy, and it is the two of wands. Think of this as like these are your action items here. These are your steps that you can take moving forward. Um, pretty obvious, right? Spread your wings. Keywords are expansion, freedom, confinement, decision. Leo, energies of expansion, excuse me, are around you now. And because of this, you may be feeling restless and uncertain. Your mind and soul are ready to soar, but you may feel confined by certain relationships or certain aspects of them. Although they may be comfortable and feel safe, it is possible that you don't quite fulfill, they don't quite fulfill your needs. Even the desire to be in a relationship can be restricting because it becomes your focus and you forget to live your life to the fullest. Kind of seeing that here, especially in the last row. Um, and I definitely see you putting some um, heartfelt thought into that idea. Uh, okay. Sometimes when you think you have all that you could ever want, you realize that you now want something else. Perhaps the relationship has grown a little too restricting or it's not exciting enough. Or maybe it no longer meets your needs as you've evolved and changed. Well, you certainly have changed, Leo. What will it take to allow you to feel unrestrained and joyful? Listen to your heart. What do you really want? Remember to make any needed changes with love and compassion. <sighs> so, really very, uh, Spirit is always helping us here, always guiding us. And, um, Sometimes when the Romance Angels come, they come to let us know what it is we're missing, what it is that we're wanting, and um, I think that uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, yeah, Spirit's encouraging you, move. Take action. Don't wait for someone else to break up with you. Don't wait for um, the other person to make the moves. It's your time, Leo. Um, take the reins. You have control over your destiny now. And spread your wings. Where do you want to go? Where is it that you're, um, you see your path going? Um, now is the time for you to spread your wings and fly. You have options. You aren't alone. And make any needed changes with love and compassion, including for yourself. Many blessings, dear Leo. Love and light to all of you. And please be sure to like, subscribe, share. Tell your friends and family about Patreon, about my Patreon. I don't do a lot of uh, marketing over on YouTube. But um, that's because I tend to lose subscribers if I do that because it pulls people away from YouTube. But if you want, please do share these readings um, with your friends and family. Let them know that I'm doing general monthly readings and love forecasts ad-free over on Patreon. I love to see them over here and I'm happy that you are here with me. Thank you for your love and support. It means the world to me and really does help me uh, sustain my practice. So thank you.